Hey folks, some of you know that our Magneto Pause Reversal video was posted to Godlike Productions and has well over 25,000 hits. After reading the 14 pages of responses, I feel the need to clarify exactly what information is known and what is fact versus speculation. This is a select few magnetic data feeds of Earth available at ISWA, the first link below. The sun is off to the right in this view, blowing solar wind from right to left. If you've spent any time studying geomagnetics, you're aware that you're seeing a normal view of the magnetosphere uh, and magnetopause, other than a moderate pressure change indicated by the change in color. But did you notice the timestamps here? There's data missing from March 12th around 1400 UTC, and it jumps to March 13th at 2100, more than a day later. I've staggered the videos here so they jump at different times to make it easier for you to see. Now if you go to any of these other ionospheric or magnetospheric data feeds, the data will be missing for that time. I'll just pick this one here, set up the right time frame, and the data on ISWA feeds up to your chosen time, so pick the end time of the view you want to watch. Now the best visual representations of this kind of stuff actually come from the Japanese simulation, some of you call it the NICT. But their videos have not updated in some time, and their image archive has been hidden since the data time uh, missing in question on the NASA data. Well, as most of you know, it's okay, because we caught the data before they hit it, and here it is. In absolute contrast to all that we know is possible, the magnetosphere appears to reverse. Uh, the magnetopause, that is. It appears we have something coming from behind us, pushing in on us. A lot of people have said the solar wind doesn't do that. Yeah, no kidding, but it doesn't change the fact that you see what you see. Now, we still don't know exactly what happened, but I can tell you that those who say that the legend counter stopped, indicating a glitch, should look at the lower right portion to see the legend active during the reversal. Those who claim there is no evidence of anything hitting us around that time, one large circle was quite rare and indicative of massive cosmic ray burst. A blob like this is unheard of, and look when it happens. Many have pointed to this article, and it presents a whole new set of concerns, but it talks about dayside reversals, and this was a dark side event, and involved cosmic rays. The evidence that something happened at around 1600 on March 12th is overwhelming, even before you consider that the data is now missing from every source. All the necessary links are below, folks. Make up your own mind. Be safe.